Hi, beautiful. You look scrumdily lumptious. Thank you for being here. What a wonderful day to be alive. And I'm excited to watch videos with you. Today we're gonna watch some people color their hair in a sort of balayage style. They're gonna attempt to do this at home. Balayage is a technique that some hairstylists haven't even mastered yet. It's a more difficult thing to do because it's very artistic. You need to have a lot of hair knowledge to have it come out really nice. It takes a while to master. So for people to just try and do this at home without any hair experience is horrifying. But we're gonna see how things go today. Maybe some people get lucky. Probably not though. Let's just see how bad these DIY balayage jobs actually go. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by someone named Jesse Lewis, and this is called I Turned a Failed Balayage into Silver Ombre Hair, Part One. You're finally going to begin the process of getting rid of this. It doesn't look terrible from the top, but if you go one layer down, we just have like a line. It doesn't look great. So right here we have flash lift with fonder inside. Okay, flash lift, we love that. I'm gonna be developing it with 30 volume. Since she wants to have silver hair, you need your hair at a level 10 to do that. And her hair is right now at a level eight. It still has a lot, a lot of warmth. So in order to kick that warmth out, you're gonna need that 30 volume. I separated a line from the tops of my ears up to the crown of my head to start. Then I divided that back portion down the middle and pulled out a section on each side. She is sectioning. Let's see how this goes with the painting. That's really the hard part, guys, is getting that paint on there smooth, nice, and making sure it doesn't run through the other layers of the hair because you'll get spotting and zebra stripes and it'll be really disgusting. Then I took a section of hair and teased the roots. This will break up the bleach line. We're teasing. I used the bleach to hold the hair to the foil. Yeah, they're foiling. I'm trying to give the bleach a jagged line on the top to soften that transition even more. This is a great idea if you're gonna try this at home because it really masks the imperfections when you tease the hair a lot. That's because when you tease, you're pushing those hair fibers up and then when you paint it, it's like that. And then when you wash it and detangle, those darker hair fibers are sitting right in between those those lighter ones and you're gonna get nice blending in there. Ooh, it's gonna be like this, blended. And I continued back and forth, letting down one small chunk of hair at a time. I found it easiest to wear a glove only on one hand that held the foil and then take it off each time that I had to let down a new section of hair. When you're doing this on sections like that, those are pretty thick sections. You really need to get that brush like deep into those sections or else like you're gonna get spotting. Luckily she already has pre-lightened hair so the spotting won't be like that noticeable or that visible. But if her hair was dark and she was doing this and wasn't really going in those sections and like literally separating every piece of hair and going in between all the hairs and making sure the lighteners on everything, she's gonna get spotting and bleeding and disgustingness. Now I did this process all the way up the back of my head, though between each foil, I actually left a little bit of hair out. What we would have done is put a toner or a permanent color even on top of those left out pieces. That way they do not stay orange. We want to add contrast in between the highlights, not leave that orange mixed with new highlights, you know? I would have probably put a darker like level five gloss toner over those orange pieces in between each foil. That way you have awesome amount of depth and contrast when the whole head is done and all that orange is eliminated. We're gonna give this another 35 minutes or so to process up here. That's how much time is left that this needs to sit. And then we'll rinse this out. I appreciate that she's washing out her sections as she goes and processing each section for the same amount of time. Hey, for effort, like, come on. What happened? So you can see we've got quite a bit of lift in the last bleach. However, uh, it's definitely pretty buried. I actually think she did a great job. It looks a lot better than what she started with. The middle section of my hair was a lot lighter than the front section. So on the lighter parts, I decided to mix the lightener with only a 20 volume developer. So we're going back in with a 20 volume developer, which I think is a good choice, except I don't know if it's gonna be enough to really get that hair like really, really light blonde level 10. But we'll see with the foil, you know, that is gonna bring it up to like a level 25 because of all the heat. I don't know, I'm hoping for the best. So the toner that I'm gonna be using for this is called Shades EQ by Redkin. This is basically black. The mid-level we have 06T, kind of a darker gray, and then we have 09T Chrome. I don't even think I have level nine hair, so I'll be mixing this with the 6T for more of the ends to have it lighter on the ends. Okay, so she's putting black over the blonde. That's a little scary, I think it's gonna look bad. The texture right now is absolutely awful, but I'm not really that concerned because I know that I haven't actually shampooed or conditioned yet. 
just a really strong rinse. Girl, you gotta wash and condition your hair before you put a toner on. Because what happens when you condition your hair is it's filling all those little cracks in the hair. So when your hair is very porous, you're gonna have a lot of cracks in random places. So that conditioner smooths out some of those cracks temporarily. So that way when the toner goes on, it's going to latch better. It's gonna pick up more even on those sections that are more porous than others. So next time, shampoo and condition and blow dry before toning the hair. So I'm just doing like an inch or two and then I take a slice and fling it up over my head. If you pull it vertically back and start painting the roots on that way, you'll end up with better blending when you put the hair back down horizontally. Think about that one. Okay, so it is now way past how long this is supposed to be processing. So you know what? I don't care what's going on. We're just gonna get this off my hair and see how it turned out. Please say it looks good or decent. It is now actually a couple of days later. Okay, it looks okay. I noticed that toward the back of my head, a lot less of that silver stuck because it was on for a lot less time. So I am gonna mix up the rest of my 06T. There's not a ton left. Put that on the ends and the back, cover the darkness, with the black. Okay, so she's putting more of the black color over those brown spots to try and get rid of anything that isn't really light blonde, which I like the idea of. I just don't like the fact that she's putting black over black. She is all over the place. A few more minutes, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower, put in do shampoo, conditioner, hair treatment again, let it dry, and I'll show you how it looks. After two rounds of bleach, well, three if you count the one she did before the video, and then two rounds of toning, we finally have the finished results, and I hope it's at least decent. That's all I hope for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I can get with that. I think it's decently well done for, you know, doing it at home and not knowing exactly how to do hair, but learning and improving as she goes. I think it's a good job. I am pretty pleased with how this is looking. It's obviously a little bit darker than a true silver. It's more like a gunmetal gray, but I'm not mad. I'm happy that she is happy. I actually really do like this look, you know, with some waves in there. I think it would look even better. I think for the task at hand and the palette she was given or hat on her head. I think the result was fabulous. Congratulations. It was a scary journey though. Well, let's move on to the next video. This video is by April Christine and this is called DIY Balayage Fail, Major Change of Plans, at home hair bleaching from black to blonde. Here I am, about to bleach my hair. Your hair is very pretty. We're about at a level five, four and a half right now. You also seem to have curly hair, which obviously means it's a little more on the drier side. Bleach and dry hair don't always mix, so hopefully we get something good and your hair doesn't fall off, you know what I mean? I have all of these, I'm not going to use all of them. Probably gonna use 20 or 10 volume to tone. If things go horribly wrong, I will use 10 volume just to deposit brown color back into my hair. 20 volume is what I'm probably going to be mixing with my bleach. Two packs of bleach because from what I've read, you don't want to undersaturate your hair. You want your hair to, if anything, be oversaturated. That is right. Put a lot on there. You don't have nearly enough bleach. Two little packets? That was supposed to be enough bleach? What am I missing? I have got a light natural brown to hopefully do a root shadow. I have watched a bunch of Brad Mondo videos. I've been watching hair coloring videos, bleaching fails, and it's really humbled me. You know, I feel like I needed a good humbling. And they did, they humbled me, but it didn't talk me out of it. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The good part about this is that she has fine hair and fine hair tends to live really fast, really quick and really nicely. So I feel kind of good about it. And she seems to have no color in her hair right now. So it seems to be her natural color. I don't really know though. That's also good. I don't know what I'm doing, but also I haven't decided what I'm doing exactly yet. It's never a good sign when you don't know what you're doing or have an idea of what you want as the final result and you're already beginning to do the hair. Believe me from experience with that one. I'm like, oh, I'll work on it. Like as we go, like I'll figure it out. No, you should know what you're doing right then and there, right before you start. Cause if you don't have the vision, who is going to have the vision? We're mixing up the color. I love 30 volume. It's one of my favorite. I'm gonna be honest, it is my favorite developer. Don't tell the other developers though. I don't wanna get into some kind of beef with these developers, you know, I gotta we are sectioning. We're definitely doing that, which is great. And she's taking very little hair at a time and working on it. So that's also good. We're blending with her fingers. Also fine to do. She could get lucky and this could be okay. You know, one person has two biggest sections. The next person has too little of sections. Let's all just meet in between somewhere. I'm already lifting. 
I can't tell if it's even in the back. It's definitely a very low balayage. Oh no, look at that random spot of lighter. We're already starting to lift. So I'm going to take my shower cap, spray a little water. I'm probably not the originator of the whole spray in the, the cap thing, but I do have to say, I definitely made like a movement with that. All of my hairdresser friends have started doing it and everybody loves it. So I'm gonna be like, give myself a little pat on the back for that one. I mean, I was so smart. I know, it's like, it's like one of those things like, duh, of course that would work, but it's like, it's a smart idea. Come on, give it to me. Oh no. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to bleach again. So far, so decent. I'm getting the feels. It's looking kind of cute. I hope that she gets it light enough, but also not too light. Her hair's really dark on the top. You don't want too much contrast. We're going for more natural feels these days, you know? For the most part, came out pretty even. What she could have done is use foils. And guys, if you're gonna use foils, make sure your sections are super, super, thin or make sure you use a sh ton of lightener on each section if your sections aren't gonna be paper thin like you need to really saturate that hair I mean like creamy white layer on top of the hair type of moment this is the second time I bleached my hair my alarm's about to go off to rinse it out this is the second time and wh wh what did you do what the f is that I did bleach my entire head <laughs> my natural hair is way too dark for it to be that light of a contrast at the bottom and it was very uneven it was very patchy so I was like we're just gonna do it yo I cannot believe she just did her entire head I was not expecting that the good part is that she already pre lightened her ends and the, that is the part that is the toughest typically hopefully they come out nice and light I'm a little worried about her putting lighter over the entire thing all again um but it could be okay this is where we're at right now. No. I'm pretty lifted. I'm panicking. Root right here is clearly what was going on last night, is what's happening here, but I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> if we end up here. Everything will just be like a nice blonde. So I went back to Sally's because I wasn't happy with my bleach. Like there was still orange at the top. Like it was just wasn't even. And it's honestly still not even, but I think it's okay because there'll be contrast in different color. I'm not bleaching it right now. This is a toner. So that's why I'm hopping on. Brad Mondo is like T18, don't use T18. My hair was not light enough for T18, but I walked into Sally's today and I was like, I need a toner for a level eight hair. And so he was was like is it for you and I was like yeah he said well you look a little yellow so you should probably do t18 toners don't work in levels they work in like what your undertone is so you're really yellow right now so you need like t18 to cancel that out it's sort of a toner it's sort of not you know t18 is honestly really confusing even to me toners in general do work on levels um, especially you know typically you call a toner like a demi permanent color is a toner and he's right T18 doesn't have to specifically be put on level 10 hair. It can be used on eight, nine, and 10. However, I've never seen good results on a level eight. T18 does have its place. It is not a horrible, bad product. It's actually really great if it's used correctly. So it is gonna provide some lift along with some toning benefits, but typically that toner comes out really quick as like any toner will. Everybody's heads of hair are different. She has very fine hair, therefore T18 will probably lift her hair quite nicely and lift it from a level eight to nearly a 10. But somebody with coarse, thick hair, if they use T18 on their yellow level eight hair, it is not going to lift. There's just so many factors when it comes to hair, guys. There's no one right or wrong answer. It really depends on the person and their hair type and their hair texture and what they've had on their hair before and how much they've lightened their hair and it's a lot. I'm back. What the f Excuse me? <laughs> no, are you, excuse me? I mean, it's definitely not all even, but I think I like the variation. It's very light underneath. Wait, sorry. I decided not to do my roots just because I kind of like it as of right now. Oh my God, it looks really nice. I don't know what you're talking about with this unevenness. On camera, it's not showing up. It looks flawless. I also really like this creamy blonde you have going on. It's not too silver and it's not too yellow. It's like right in between and it looks really great with your skin tone. I mean, wow, this mistake couldn't have turned out any better. I am stunned. I'm shocked. I'm shook the house down boots. Like, I don't even know what to say. And listen, T18 did work for you. It has its moments, 
but you need to know how to use it right. T18 is not a bad product. I do not hate T18. It's difficult to use as somebody who doesn't know how to do hair. But congratulations, April. You really shook me up. Oh my God. Well, that was definitely some DIY balayage gone wrong than right. It's kind of wild how much hair videos have changed since, you know, I started this reaction series. Like you guys really know a lot. It's really cool to hear that I taught you something and I feel like DIY hair has become um, exceedingly better. Great job. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else here are all my social media handles all around me. If you'd like to check out my hair care line, you can do so at xmodohair.com or you can check us out on Instagram at xmodocolor for color and at xmodohair for hair care. Also, my hair right now is super red and super orange mixed together to create the most intense bright red possible. If you'd like to check out my merch, you can do so at xmodohair.com as well. It is so cute, it's so comfy. I literally live in this Make sure you text me, this is my number right here. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Molly and she says, I've been thinking about getting a shaggy haircut and maybe dyeing the underlayer of my hair white and have the top half black because I've seen a lot on Pinterest and my mom doesn't think it's a good idea. I don't know what to do with my hair, it's so boring. I think that's such a good idea. You're so young, have fun with your hair. Not that if you're old, you can't have fun with your hair, but I mean like when you're young, you can get away with anything, even if it looks terrible terrible, like who cares? Uh, I think you should totally experiment with it. You're so adorable. And I think, you know, it'll be such a sick look to have. I think you should totally do the shag, totally do the underneath blonde, totally do the top dark. Go for it, try it out. And if you don't like it, do another color. Who cares? Have fun with your hair. I hope that helps you, Molly, and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.